welcome guys to another video and so uh, we sorry i don't know how to start, say this but recently youtube has gotten some pretty bad news matpad is quitting and i oh god my phone's going flat but if matpad was a really big inspiration for this channel for I didn't make videos like him, but he inspired me to make videos, along with a couple other creators. So if you want me to react to that, I will. But today we're doing this. Hey, really quick, new merch just dropped and everything is on Black Friday sale of up to 50% off from now to the 27th. We got a dope jacket, blanket, pajama pants, stickers, shoe charms, a hat, and of course the plushies. Click the link below to check it out. Hey Bryson, lay down on the ground. Why? Just do it. Okay. Why does his hair look like that? Wait, one second, guys. Why does hair look like that? Hi, I'm Bryson, and I've made several videos about my siblings, but there's one that I've yet to tell you about. The oldest sibling, my only sister, Brittany. By the way, that intro skit was a true story. She actually did that to me. But to be honest, looking at the whole picture, Brittany was the sibling that was nicest to me growing up. I mean, she's 10 years older than me, so it kind of makes sense. Why would a 15-year-old have beef with a 5-year-old? <laughs> she even gave me a nickname when I was born. Precious. I would tell you what nicknames my brothers call me, but I don't want to get demonetized. She was the nicest to me as a kid. What are your brothers calling you? Just gonna get you demonetized. <laughs> oh, just don't think about it. But that's probably just because the bar was set so low by Brody and Brayden. She was the only one who wasn't massively disappointed when I was born. Seriously, my brothers wanted another sister, and my parents wanted it to be a surprise. When Brody and Brayden came in to meet me and learned I was a boy, they were crushed. You think I'm joking, but I have proof. Look. Oh, my goodness. Come here. What do we okay. have? Brayden, Brody. Hi. No. Does anyone say hi to us? She's sleeping. Guess what kind of baby it is? It's a boy, baby. <gasps> it's a, a boy, baby. just like you guys. Surprise! He's a girl. I know. He's just like He's you. just like He's you. He's a boy. Oh, you've got a brother. You want us to yes, try for yes, a sister? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, oh, buddy. This isn't a sister. Your sister's right there. <laughs> I was a disappointment from day one. Did you see how destroyed Brody was? And Brayden went to say hi to Brittany instead of me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me get myself together. Barely entered the earth from heaven. I was expecting a warmer welcome than this. Look at my mom's baby and I. Okay, I got myself together now. But uh, did you see how crushed Brayden was? And then he went over to see Br Brittany. <laughs> oh my. It's a boy, baby. I am in a different setting from where I was before. But we're still going to finish this video. And then I think we're about to send. We're about to find out what his mum sent as like the baby thing. So sent out. It's a another boy. What did I do to deserve this? I'm so sorry that I inconvenienced you all so much by being born. Anyway, let's start off with a classic family story. I had just been given a new big boy bike, a significant upgrade from my little fixed gear baby bike. I took it to the top of the hill by our house and rode down. It was so fast and exhilarating. I turned into our driveway toward our parking bay and tried braking by pedaling backwards because that's how my little bike worked. But this was a big boy boy bike. Pedaling backwards did nothing. It was too late. <laughs> I'm gonna pee. I'm gonna pee. Brittany's first reaction to other
older people getting hurt is to laugh hysterically and try not to pee. I think it's because she's been desensitized to pain from watching all those true crime documentaries. Her arms were cut off. Her legs were cut off. Her ears were cut off. Her tongue was cut off. Her nose was cut off. Her eyeballs were plucked out. But regardless of her obsession with murder, she was very sweet to little old me, and I'll always remember her taking me to Chuck E. Cheese and playing Deal or No Deal together. I still remember our winning strategy. That's the thing. No deal. That's the thing. No deal. Now, let's open your case. she wasn't always so nice to me. One time when I was very young, we were moving into a new house, and little me wanted to wear a paint lid as a hat. When the paint lid would fall, I would cry. Brittany kept coming back to put it back on my head to comfort me, but it kept falling off, and I kept crying. So obviously, she glued the paint lid to my head. Mom had to shave my head in order to get the lid off. My hair was ruined! This is my bread and butter. I can't have you messing up my bread and butter, dude. Anyway, eventually Brittany started dating and she brings this guy home. I was maybe seven and we were chilling on the beanbag and playing phone games when all of a sudden the guy says, it's like really awkward that your little brother is here. Like, excuse me, this is my house. It's really awkward that you're here, chump. Oh, I want an empty room so that we can get to the kissing part of the night, even though it's our first date. That's mighty presumptuous of you, forehead. Brittany, this guy's no good for you. Kick him to the curb. I didn't really say that, but I thunk it. Anyway, she dumped him. Then her next boyfriend was Kyle. One time he was babysitting me and I made him watch Danny Phantom with me all day. I also remember showing up at his house one time, inviting myself in and playing a skateboarding game with him. Then he gave me a toy car and that was enough for him to get my blessing to marry Britney. Anyway, they're married now, just like all my other older siblings. <laughs> Flash forward. I was in high school and Brittany and Kyle were living in mom's basement. One night we heard Brittany and Kyle yelling downstairs and I got a half hour lecture from my parents about how hard marriage is. I mentioned it to them the following day and they said, oh, we were just watching a hockey game and we were excited. And I was like, well, then I got a big lecture about nothing. During this time, Brittany had to stop by a car shop with me in the car. She asked if I could run in and... I am not reacting to this much, but... Well, I don't even think of, should I even react to what she was, that crime documentary she was watching? Like, um, what the, what the hell was she, what the heck was she watching? Sorry, you can't hear me over the video that well. But, oh my, what the heck was she watching? I didn't even want to react to that. You can't really hear me over the video for the second time. So, yep, just wanted to mention you can't really hear me over the video. Grab some stuff for her car. Hey, Bryson, I need you to go in the store and ask for blinker fluid. I'm out. Okay. Do you guys have blinker fluid? What fluid? Blinker, blinker fluid. fluid Someone's fluid. pulling your leg, young man. Blinker fluid isn't a thing. What? <laughs> Let me go ask my sister. <laughs> <laughs> She pranked me, but then I pranked her back by making a video about it and monetizing it. So, who really won? Now, while living together, Mom and Brittany had a few arguments. I don't even remember what the arguments were about, but eventually, after an argument escalated for a while, it would get to the point where they would stop trying to resolve it and instead just try to deal as much emotional damage as possible. And this was my favorite one. I was chilling in Mom's room. Yeah. Brittany came in and they started rehashing an argument from earlier that day. It escalated and they yelled for a while, then Brittany stormed off. And as she did, Mom said, Did I ruffle a feather? You don't say that disrespectful to any of your other kids and I won't stand for it! Ugh! So that was fun. Don't worry, Mom and Brittany are all good now. But in retrospect, I would say yes. Mom did indeed ruffle a feather. Now it's time to talk about Brittany's kids. My nephews, Hank, Brock, and Jack. I love my nephews. They're huge improvements from the source material. Anyways, I take being the favorite uncle very seriously. Piggyback rides, puzzles, and stuffed animals galore. I also teach them valuable life lessons. What do we do when someone is mean to us? That's right! Violence! Can you say violence? Violence! 
Good. Be resourceful about it, too. Throw rocks, bite people, push them down the stairs, all that good stuff. Okay. But for real, I do try to influence them positively in whatever way I can. Bad. Bad. Good. Good. Uncle Bryson, are we getting paid for this? <laughs> no. I'm a voice actor, and voice actors get paid. No. No money for you. You know what? No I'm calling my you. agent. Yeah, right. Like, you have an agent. Dad. What's wrong, buddy? Yeah, he's, he's not paying me. That's 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 a lie. He, he, he's, he's lying. He won't pay me. Here's a funny story for each of the boys. One time I... Okay, so I'm going to want to end that video now. I'll make a part two to this and then react to some other animators if you want to. But I have to finish that video before I do that. See you in the next video. Peace.